Come on, Gabs. Gabby, come. What do you got? What's she got in her mouth? Come here, Gabby. Gabby, come. Come here, Gabs. Oh, she's a fun. What is that? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Gabby one. Now that's funny. Are y'all just tearing stuff up? What do you got? What is that? Oh, look at this. They're playing keep away. I guess they're playing keep away from Gracie. Now that's funny. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to click on this video and watch it. I greatly do. I do greatly appreciate it. Um, I just got off work. It's getting dark on me fast. Um, so I, I got to come out. We had a cold front come in. Um, I want to come out here and check on the goats, see how they're doing. Check on their mineral lake. I got to give them some more hay. Um, so I'll show you that. And then um, I've been getting a lot of comments on, on the goats. People want to see more of them. Um, several people say, I need to name the goats. Um, there's two that I really I, I like the way they look. Um, so I'm thinking about naming two of them. So if you guys get a chance, and I'll show you the two I'm talking about. And if you've been watching for very long, you probably know which two I like the best, just the way they look. Um, leave me a comment down below. Throw me some names out there. What should I name these two goats? Well, I'll show you that here in a minute. Right now, I'm going to hook them up with some fresh hay and uh, go check on the mineral, uh, mineral uh, bowl. And uh, I'll show you all that. So those are the two I like right there, those two. But look at this one, what happened to its face? I don't know what happened to this goat's face. Let's take a look at it. She's getting big though. Let me see if I can crown back this way. But that one I like, I like them all, but that one I really think it's cool looking. And the other one, I have a name for the black one in there. I think it's a cool name. Uh, let's get these goats in here first though. There they go. Gabby, leave them alone. Okay, so the brown one and the black one are the ones I want to name. You guys want me to name them, so I want to name them. I think Shadow. Shadow for that one. What do you guys think? And the other one's up in the air. You let me know. I don't want to name all of them because I'll forget, but look at that one's face. Look at it. Look at its nose. You know what she's been doing? She's been getting into the old mineral lick. Mineral, mineral tub. Just like that one. So Shadow, I like Shadow. Do you guys like Shadow? I'm still thinking all the goats are pregnant. They're all looking like they have taken. Um, they're starting, the belly's starting to drop a little bit. I think we're, think we're good to go on, on baby kids coming in the next few months. Uh, but yeah, um, a lot of people say I need to name the goats. I want to name two of them. I like the name Shadow for that one. What do you guys, what do you all think? Leave me a comment down below in the brown one. What do you all think about the brown one? Oh, skittish there. Come on, Gabby, let's go there. Come on, Gracie! I don't know where Gracie's at. Gracie's ears have popped up. And if I could get her over here, I'll show you. It is cold. That cold for us came in. Um, it was like a high today in Oklahoma of 47 and that was this morning and then the temperature had dropped all day it's got to be probably 37 now 38 um so i'm gonna go in the house i'll show you gracie there's gracie standing over there i'll show you her and gabby and then we'll go in the house i'm gonna start a fire get it warmed up get it ready for the, get it for the uh get it warmed up and going for uh hadley hadley loves fires and i love the fire so warm but we'll go in the house and i'll show you starting a fire look at look at gracie gracie What are you doing, Gracie? Come here, Grace. Come here, Gracie. It's getting dark on us, girls. Hey, let's go check on the chickens real fast. 
All right, so we're gonna go feed the chickens before it gets totally dark. I got a package on here. What is this? What do we got here? Is it for me? It says my name. I don't know what it is. I'll have to open it up and check it out. Um, but let's go over here and check on the chickens. We're down to um, eight laying hens since we processed 22 of the meat chickens. Um, now I'll have uh, something about the meat chickens. Now I knew those were gonna be the smaller, a smaller, uh, a smaller chicken than what the jumbos were last year. Um, that's just the nature of the beast. That's the difference in in uh, breeds of chicken. Uh, but the breasts on them are quite a bit smaller than I was expecting. Um, I knew they wouldn't be near as big, but I didn't think they were going to be as small. And I could have let them go another four or five weeks, get them up. Um, but I like a two pound to three and a half pound chicken. I love to roast them. I like put, put them in the Dutch oven. Uh, stuff like the individual birds that you can have for yourself. One of my favorite meals to cook. Um, so I knew that's what I wanted to do with those. And plus the, the weather is turning, it's turning, starting to turn, going to start turning even worse. So I was like, it's time. They're 12 weeks old. Let's process them. So we did, I thought we did a really good job on that. If you have not seen that video of me in uh, uh, Salyer Ridge Farm, I'll put an eye card up there. You guys check it out. If that's something you're interested in is chicken processing. I did a whole video on it. So it turned out pretty good. Let's check on the light on the hens here. Okay, so the chickens are looking good. Um, that's one thing I would recommend anyone who wants to start their own little homestead journey, their own self-reliant journey, is to start off with some chickens. Um, they don't have to be meat chickens, but just some laying hens. Get three or four laying hens for your backyard and you will be surprised at how many eggs you will get for, from three or four chickens and uh, fresh every day, every day. Um, during the winter, one thing I have noticed, they, have, they do slow down, but if you're able to put a light on them um, it helps it helps their production uh, messes with their uh, their their system in their head or I don't think I can't think of the word um, but it helps that, that light that, that light is bright um, but it, it tricks them it makes them think uh, the, there's longer hours in the day and they'll continue to lay throughout um, winter that's one that's one little trick um, but let's go in the house uh, I'm gonna get warmed up I'm gonna start a fire show you guys that and then I'll talk to you real quick about something else Okay, so I got the fire going back here. I just want to have a quick talk with you guys. Um, you guys seen uh, the well, first of all, I'm gonna get this heated up enough. The girls and Granny are gonna be home pretty soon, and I'm gonna turn the I'm gonna turn the, the fan on here. I'm gonna get nice and toasty in here because Hadley's gonna freak out. She loves the wood heat. If you've never had wood heat, you're missing out. I'm telling you, it's the best heat you can get. It's a drier heat. You know, it's just, there's nothing like it. But anyways, I want to talk to you just real quick. Um, I've had a lot of questions about the crockers coming over. I'm looking at some property that me and my wife own. We've had it for several years. I never do anything with it. Um, we bought it in for the plans of maybe going, have a little a little off-grid place ourselves up in the woods. And it's just never materialized into anything because we're just so busy, don't have time. It's, it's about an hour away from our house, um, up on a ridge. Um, you see, it looks pretty cool in the video, um, but it's, it's a lot of a, a slope but has potential has a lot of potential it definitely you could definitely put a tiny house up there um so whenever i seen uh the crockers looking for um some land in oklahoma i hit them up and i said why don't you guys if you if you can meet us up here um meet us up here uh sunday afternoon i could take you up there after church and uh see what y'all think 
Uh, so they did. They look. They seem to like it a lot. I like the river and stuff go there. Um, the I the I did. I guess that's a perfect scenario for them. Um, they don't have anything really holding them, holding them down, holding them back um, from going and doing what they want to do. Their dream of building their their own their own um, homestead or their own off grid homestead. And um, and if if they live here six months, a year, two years, ten years, awesome. Um, but they're they're getting to live out their dream on YouTube, getting to share it with you guys. And uh, YouTube can be very brutal at times, can be very hard. We, uh, we talked to Jason and Jaylena for uh, several, several hours, and we talked about life, and we talked about um, YouTube. And uh, whenever you put yourself out on YouTube, everyone sees it that watches it. They, cr cr they can criticize you. They can make fun of you, tease you, um, critique everything you do. Um, you get the trolls coming, coming along. And at first, I used to let the trolls bother me, and I used to let things bother me, but now, no. Um, not very much stuff bothers me at all. But yeah, we, we had a good time with the Crockers. I'm glad they came, they came up. Um, they have a decision to make. Um, either way, it doesn't matter to us. Um, we want to we offer them opportunity to come look at the place we had. So if they do uh, decide to pursue that avenue up here by us, it's about an hour away. Um, and I don't know if I said, but it's just up on a ridge. It looks pretty nice. Got the cool river, uh, a lot of camping things like uh, hookups and, and bathrooms. And they can go up there and they can build up on, their, on the land if they decide they want it. Um, so the opportunity is there for them. If this is what they really want to do, they have a lot of talking to do about this. They've looked at so many different properties. Um, so I'm kind of looking forward to their decision. I told them, I said, don't tell me what you're all going to do first. Either way, uh, take your time and then let me know. Uh, I'm just interested to see their journey when they do pick a place and they, cause they're going to do it. Um, you can tell they're motivated and they're driven and, and they're, and they're with, they put their mind on, they're gonna, going to succeed at it. So whenever they do, Pick a uh, property if it's in Texas, Oklahoma, wherever. Um, it's going to be interesting and fun to watch. Um, I love watching off-grid channels. I, I just find it very fascinating and interesting. I've told Brandy a lot that, hey, I want solar panel here, solar panels here. I would love to have a backup system or even a system that you, you're relying on. You uh, get all your electric from. This is a bigger house. Um, we would probably never be able to go completely solar, but just some would be pretty sweet. I like the idea of it. Um, but yeah. So that's what it is. Just want to talk to you all about that real quick. Um, that's that's why they came up here. I invited them. They didn't hit me up. Um, I I pursued them once I see their video and said, hey, you, you need to come check this out. This could be a good opportunity for you guys. And they did. Had a great time. And um, maybe maybe we're all going to find out together. I guess when they do a reveal video, I'll find out whenever you guys find out. It's going to be fun and interesting. So if you guys aren't subscribed to the Crockers, go check them out. And uh, what are you doing, Gabby? She Gabby's looking at herself better. Elin. Gabby, I can smell you a little bit. There may be a shower in Gabby's near, near future. Does Mama, does Brandy need to give you a shower? Do you need to take a shower? Huh? It's going to be shower time for, for Gabby. Does, does Gracie need one too? Do you guys see Gracie running around them playing tag? That was funny. I haven't seen all three of them play keep away like that. As soon as Gabby dropped it, Gracie, or, uh, Gracie tried to get it, but then Lily grabbed it and took off running. It was funny. It was a good time. I love these dogs. Gabby's just just like part she's just like one of the kids and grace and grace is gonna be just like her huh huh so all right guys we love you guys thanks so much for uh, watching the channel thank you so much for the support like i guys tell you i greatly greatly appreciate my family greatly appreciates we can't thank you guys enough i um, clicking on the video and watching it if you made this far uh, it means you guys really enjoy what we're doing and thank you um, it, it's not easy making all these videos, but um, I continue to push them out because you guys continue to show the support. Um, so thank you very much. And if you like this video, smash that like button. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next video. Have a great day. Say bye, Gabby.